we're rolling. All right, we're going to be in Lamentations 3. Um, for the first 18 verses, I'm just going to read some words to you. I'm not going to read the word. I'm just going to read a couple words that my Amplified has um, to set the stage. Um, see if it sounds familiar. Here's Jeremiah. The nation of Israel has been defeated, squashed, pretty much destroyed, taken out. And they sent the people away to different places. And this is how Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, some of the words he uses to describe the way he is feeling at the moment. He is, he is complaining because he's seen all the affliction of the people. He says, we are in darkness. He says, everyone and even you, God, are against me. He says, even you, God, are causing me to waste away. You've shattered my bones. I feel in bitterness and hardship and in darkness. Everything is dead. I don't feel like I can get out. I'm crying to you, God. You're shutting out my prayers. You're blocking your way from me. You've torn me to pieces. I feel desolate. Everybody's ridiculing me. Everybody's mocking me. It's bitterness. You've cast me far away from peace. I've forgotten what happiness is. My strength is perishing. Sounds pretty fun and exciting, doesn't it? But if if you look at the nation today, I guarantee you there's people around our nation and around the world that feel the same way. You could pick any one of those world, the words. They feel useless. They feel unwanted. They feel bitter. They feel angry. And that's why they react and act the way they do. And it's crazy because the fruit we're trying to figure out is this week is faithfulness. Well, if we're trying to figure out faithfulness, why would you send me to such a despairing book as Lamentations? Because that's where God told me to go. <laughs> Simple answer. I have no other answer. But in the midst of despair, if you read the book of Lamentations from beginning to end, not just chapter 3, that is the mode of 99.9% .9 of the book of Lamentations Jeremiah is speaking like that about his circumstances and the circumstances of the nation. The way his life feels and the way he feels. This is the way he was talking. But, there's a few verses squeezed up in the middle of all of that that we're going to look at and see what faithfulness looks like. Verse 19. Remember, O Lord, my affliction and my wandering the wormwood and the gall of bitterness. So he's not done complaining. He's telling God, you got to remember me. And you, you need to remember me. We did a lesson many months ago about on remembering, how important it is to remember. you got to remember me. My soul continually remembers them and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind. Therefore I have hope. Why does he have hope? He's getting ready to tell us. He's getting ready to remind us that God is faithful. And because God is faithful, we're supposed to be faithful. It is because of the Lord's loving kindness that we are not consumed. Isn't that what most of the world feels like? Life is so terrible. Life is so bad. They feel like it's overrunning them and consuming them and just squashing them. And, and they, they don't understand... They don't understand that there's a hope that God is faithful in that time of despair. you got to remember, the Lord told the nation of Israel, because you acted this way, this is what's going to happen. But I will rescue you when you turn back to me. That's faithfulness. We're in Lamentations 3, Rhoda. And, and that's faithfulness. God is faithful even when we feel most unwanted, unloved, in despair, and our life is woe is me. God is so faithful. He's waiting for you to cry out and give honest representation of how you feel. Lamentations didn't go, 
It's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I know God's going to turn it around. He didn't do that. He went to God and said, Life stinks right now. Everything's against me. And he wrote a whole book about it. Jeremiah is, and even in his, his other book, that's the way he wrote. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Got to take care of it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Got to take care of it. Here's Lamentations. He wrote 99.9% .9 of that book about how bad everything was. But he says, remember me, Lord, because I know you'll take care of me because you're faithful and you love me that much. Therefore, I have hope. It is because of the Lord's loving kindness that we are not consumed. See, I don't care what you're going through or what people are going through around the world. God promises you, you will not be consumed by it. It will not destroy you. It will not take you out. Turn to me. Well, that's hard to do. See, we like to write the book of Lamentations and tell everybody else, but we don't like to write the book of Lamentations for God. We go to the world, we go to our friend, we pick that little thing called telephone up, and we start talking to, to, to our sister God.